Ah, uh, you see, I told you. That dinner was amazing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And now we get to enjoy just walking about the night city. Just looking at the lights. You know, I haven't really paid attention to the city at night, but now that I look at it, it's rather beautiful. Oh, like the shining lights and whatever. It's like you're in a movie. <laughs> Enough of my rambling. How'd you enjoy the dinner, little feather? That's great. I'm glad you enjoyed the dinner. I mean, I would hope so. I paid for it. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> to be completely truthful with you, I didn't really think that far. Hmm. What do you want to do? <sighs> Sorry, it, it's a little bit late. I'm getting a tad, tad bit tired. But you know, I'll muscle through it, just for you. Let's just walk around for a little bit, since you got nothing on your mind. Let's talk. So, how you been, besides being sore from all the, the training we've been doing? Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're doing great. I'm very sure this uh, dinner day was well-deserved since you've been working so hard. Actually, hang on, little feather. Why don't we sit down for a second? I gotta talk some real talk with you. Ah. <sighs> Well, uh, you see, I know I've been helping you train and whatever. You know, becoming a hero, just like me. I don't really want to become a trainer at all. I am more of my own, you know, loose cannon ways. So... Instead of calling me your trainer, why don't you call me yours? <laughs> what I'm saying is, little feather, that I like you. <laughs> Not just as a friend. I like you. A lot, actually. I care about you a lot. Why do you think I was one of the first people to jump up to be one of your trainers? I wanted to get more close to you. I wanted to spend more time with you. So... I jumped up, and I said I want to train them. And now here we are, sitting at a park bench. And I'm spilling my true feelings about you. You could say, instead of saying I like you a lot, <laughs> could say that I love you, Blue Feather. Do you have the same feelings back? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. You 
No. Ever since I laid eyes on you, I couldn't stop imagining what it would be like to date someone just like you. Someone so beautiful. Someone with such great, great personality. Such beautiful locks of hair. Eyes I could get stared, I couldn't get lost into. Just by staring right into them. And his skin soft as silk. I could go on and on if I really wanted to, little feather, but I don't want to bore you with the details. Just put it straight forward. I love you. And I know you love me back. <laughs> Your smile is even adorable. No, oh, what? Come on, little feather. Am I making you blush already? I'm just speaking to you. I'm being truthful. Is my truth making you blush? <laughs> you got something on your mind? You're staring pretty hard at me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Look at me. <laughs> I care about you. A lot. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you. You know why? Because you are my little feather. And I don't want my little feather to be hurt. You got that? Good. Now come on. Get up. I gotta take you home. We got training to do tomorrow. And you know that hothead's gonna be on our ass for being late. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you don't have to thank me for tonight, little feather. I enjoyed every single second of it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, we could do this more often. And then maybe, just maybe, we can go even further than that. And even further, and even further. How's that sound? All right, good. <laughs> you are so goddamn cute. Come on. Let's get walking. <laughs> oh, yeah. About the necklace. It was kind of a... Fair warning that I was going to ask you out. You know, with the nickname Low Feather and all. I gave you one of my feathers. So you can have a piece of me, but now you have the whole thing. Isn't that clever? Well, I thought so. But anyway, let me walk you home.
Hold my hand. <laughs> Let's go home, little feather. <laughs>